Hi, and welcome to our video on uncontrolled intersections. In this video, we will discuss what is an uncontrolled intersection and who has the right of way, and right of way at parking lots, alleyways, driveways, and service roads. Uncontrolled intersections are intersections that are not controlled by stop signs or yield signs. These types of intersections are usually found on smaller side streets in residential areas, usually in older neighborhoods, but sometimes can be found in newer neighborhoods as well. They can also be found in some industrial areas and in some rural areas as well. Some municipalities, like Edmonton, have quite a few of them. However, St. Albert have very few of them. While these type of intersection can come in different shapes, the two most common ones are three-way or four-way intersections. At an uncontrolled intersection, not only must you follow the regular rules that pertains to intersections, you must always yield to your right, regardless of who got there first or who is going where. So, as we can see in this example, the blue car must yield to the yellow car because the blue car is on to the left of the yellow car. Pretty simple, right? But now, let's make things a little bit more complicated. Let's take this four-way intersection and transform it to a three-way intersection. Who has the right of way now? The yellow car turning left or the blue car going straight through the intersection? The majority of drivers would assume that the blue car has the right of way because it's going straight while the yellow car is turning. However, this is wrong. Just because a vehicle is going straight through an intersection, it does not mean it has right of way. In this case, the blue car should have yielded to the yellow car on its right. What should have actually happened in this scenario was the blue car should have stopped for the yellow car and the yellow car should have proceeded. Now, let's imagine that we are the yellow car. Even though we know we have to right of way, we should never assume that the other vehicle knows who has right of way in this case. It is always safe to make sure that the other vehicles come to a complete stop before proceeding. If the uncontrolled intersection is on our left and we are planning on going straight through, we have to right of way. However, we must remember that if we are planning on turning left, we must yield to any oncoming vehicles and pedestrians. Let's see how this plays out in real time. The car on the top left of the screen is planning on going straight through the intersection while the car at the bottom right is planning on turning left. As you can now see, the vehicle going straight is yielding to the vehicle that it's on its right while the other vehicle is proceeding. As discussed earlier, sometimes the other vehicle might not know if they have to ride of way or not, so waving them through is always a good way to communicate. If the person that is on your right waves you to go, then go, as they have now abandoned their right of way. Let's now discuss how to recognize that you are coming up to an uncontrolled intersection. In an earlier video, we discussed how to scan an intersection as we are coming up to it and what to look for. One of the things that we have discussed is to scan for any signs that might be facing us or facing the other street. We are going to scan the far opposite side of the road for a post. Notice that I'm saying post and not a sign because sometimes depending on the angle of approach, you will not see the sign but you will see the post. In this footage, as we are approaching the intersection, you will notice that it is impossible to see the sign but we can definitely see the post holding the sign. As we are entering the intersection, we can now see that it is actually a yield sign facing the other roadway. If we go back to the previous footage of the car planning on going straight through a non-control intersection, you will notice that there is no post at the far corner. Therefore, it is considered a non-control intersection and you must yield to the vehicle coming from your right. The last thing you need to know about a non-control intersection is that if you are approaching one and it's on your right, you must treat it exactly as if you are facing a yield sign. So you must slow down to speed that you can safely stop before entering the intersecting roadway and only proceed if it is safe to do so. And finally, let's discuss some other right-of-way situations that you might encounter. Every time that you are leaving a parking lot, driveway, alleyway or service road, 
Even though there is no stop sign, you must always come to complete stop before proceeding. So if you're driving onto main road and you see somebody coming out of an alleyway, driveway, parking lot or service road, remember that you have to right of way over them and you should not be stopping for them. If you are driving in a parking lot, the rules of the road do apply as well. First, if you are reversing out of a parking stall, you must yield to everybody else, so vehicles and pedestrians. In a parking lot, you must also obey all traffic signs, including stop sign, yield signs and posted speed limit. Some parking lots may even have speed limits that are posted for 10 km per hour. If you do not see a posted speed limit, you should not be going any faster than 20 km per hour in the parking lot. And lastly, if you do come up to an intersection in a parking lot and there is no stop or yield signs, then you must treat it as an uncontrolled intersection and yield to your right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please call or text us at 587-990-2583 or send us an email to office at archersbluecar.ca.